Hi there, Synchro Lovers! Welcome back to Synchro Secrets, the one-to-go place for all things artistic swimming. My name is Agata Jehovska, and today I am going to talk about 10 strict rules that all synchro swimmers have to follow. But before I do that, make sure that you subscribe to this channel so you never miss another episode and obviously so more people can see this channel as well. Alright, so let's dive into 10 strict rules that synchro swimmers need to follow. With the changes in rules in the sport, artistic swimmers now have to perform a certain amount of hybrids, acro movements or skills in their routine, depending on the age category and the event. Additionally, their coaches have to fill out a coach's card before each competition where they have to state all the elements that are being performed in the occurrence order. So no more improvising when you forget what comes next in your routine. Oops! Time limits were introduced to artistic swimming a long time ago, but they became much stricter when it comes to how much longer or shorter the routine can be. With new rules, each routine has a time limit that can be exceeded or can be less than 5 seconds. The old rules allowed 15 seconds more or less of the original time limit, so the routines could vary around 30 seconds in length at some instances. That is quite a big difference when you compare two similar routines. Imagine one swimmer swimming 15 seconds less than the other, so this actually is a difference of 30 seconds in the routine length. That is actually a lot of time that you could use to your advantage. New rules are way stricter and the swimmers have to showcase the elements and the hybrids in the allocated time. This rule has been with us for a while and it's actually as old as me. Yes, I had to perform my figures with a white hat and a black costume in front of the judges. And I think it is a good thing because the judges should not be distracted by sparkly costumes when judging the technique of the swimmers. It also allows the swimmers to be more alike than other athletes, so the judges cannot know from which club or from which country this particular swimmer is performing from. And it should not influence the points that the swimmers are getting. A strict rule that if violated leads to disqualification. Swimmers must perform their routines entirely in the water showcasting their skills without any assistance from the pool walls. Of course, this rule applies only after the swimmers dive in the water. So the 10 seconds performance outside of the water does not count as disqualification, it is actually allowed. But after the swimmers dive in, no more touching the walls. And if the team is performing the routine and one athlete only touched the wall, then the whole team will be disqualified. A new addition from World Aquatics, now two men, two male artistic swimmers are allowed to perform in the team routine. Breaking gender stereotypes, artistic swimming embraces inclusivity, allowing men to showcase their skills alongside their female counterparts in team competitions. For many men, like Bill May, it is a dream come true. He was fighting for such an inclusion since I remember. So I'm so happy for them. Artistic swimming competitions are categorized by age, ensuring fair competition among participants with similar levels of experience and skill. It's a way to nurture talent and create a level playing field. Even the slightest bottom touch results in points deduction. I have to say that it allows an element of challenge, especially when performing thrusts, acrobatic movements or spins, especially when the pool is super shallow. I actually competed in many pools that were not maybe meeting the requirements of like depth and it was super challenging to focus on not touching the bottom of the pool and also trying to do my best while competing. New rules introduced a base mark, something that a lot of athletes and coaches are fearful of. Judges assign a base mark for a whole hybrid, meaning 0.5 points for that hybrid, for errors like incomplete rotations or differences in levels at the beginning and at the end of a twirl. The athletes will also get a base mark if they omit even just one of the elements declared by their coaches on the coach card. So no more improvising in the hybrids. In lower age categories, there are safety limits for acrobatic movements. It is a safety measure to ensure the younger athletes are safe when performing such dramatic and very difficult skills. Unlike some sports with multiple attempts, in artistic swimming you get one shot to showcase your routine or a figure. So as you can imagine, the pressure is on each performance and each figure attempt 
counts. And there you have it, 10 strict rules that all artistic swimmers have to follow. If you like this video, make sure that you subscribe to this channel and you like this video so more people can discover this channel and can follow me as well. And don't forget to leave a comment under this video stating which strict rule surprised you the most and which is actually, in your opinion, the most strict. And see you in the next video. Bye!